Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the class ECE 341, the probability class. And uh, this lecture is for the uh, the Friday of the fifth week. Friday of the fifth week. And uh, then next week, that means the um, in the Monday of the sixth week, we will have the first uh, midterm exam. Uh, midterm exam. And uh, so today we will have a review. We will have a review. Uh, so firstly, I want to talk a little bit about the exam. Uh, the exam will work online way, right? Actually, our class is online way. So the exam I will work like this. Uh, I post the problem in the blackboard at that time when we started the exam and uh, give you a time period you can finish it uh, the exam will be kind of uh, open book open notes open internet you know it's open uh, but time is limited uh, you need to finish the problem in the uh, time duration uh, totally is one hour uh, not totally so the class is one, uh, 50 minutes so i suppose you have one hour for the exam and uh, another 30 minutes you can you can prepare for uh, uh, you need to sub submit online right so you need you dry down paper but then you need scan in your uh, computer and uh, transfer it as a pdf file and then upload the pdf file to blackboard so totally is uh, uh, that is 30 minutes so totally is a uh, one hour and 30 minutes so you have to upload your result by the end of the uh, one hour and 30 minutes. Uh, our classes start at uh, 3, suppose, right? At 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. So you need to submit by 4.30, 4.30 p.m. And by 3, uh, you can find the problems. Uh, the problems I post the one in the blackboard and I will also send you by email by email to you at that time so you can have your papers at the three o'clock uh, maybe a little bit minutes uh, different I suppose you will be early and uh, but in case you know the internet is running uh, maybe a little bit late but I will set it before before 3 p.m. All right. Okay. So this is uh, how to do it. How to do it. And uh, then let's go to the. All right. I'm talking now. Just uh, after I gave you a review, but uh, I I will move this part to the front of this video. I can edit the video, right? So when you saw this video, this part will be in front of the class. Actually, I give this in the back of the class. Uh, the thing is, uh, for the review, this Friday's class, this Friday's class, uh, this class, uh, you will have both. You will have this video. You can watch this video in the YouTube. You can also go to the Zoom meeting. Zoom meeting. You go to the Zoom meeting. I will be there. I will be there during the uh, class time. That will be Friday from uh, 3 p.m. to 3.50 p.m. I, I will have the Zoom meeting. So you go to the Zoom meeting, you can you can, you can can see me. Then you can talk with me if you have any question. All right, yeah. Mm, so you can work like this. Uh, you watch the, watch the review video in the first half of the class. And uh, then you go back to the class you have another uh, half of the class you can ask me questions yeah all right the ECE 341 this is for the uh, this is a fifth week Friday okay. review View for the midterm exam one 
on Monday, next Monday, and the six week Monday of six week. The time will be from three to four fifty p.m. Ah, uh, you have to submit by this. Uh, don't don't be late. All right. Yeah, don't be late. You have to submit by this. Uh, I suppose you finish finish writing by four and submit by four thirty. All right. And the exam will be individually. 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 Individual. Uh, everyone do your own work, not group work. Not group work. Uh, homework you can work as a small groups, two or three work together. Uh, but uh, this exam you have to work by yourself. Everyone work by yourself. All right. And then uh, material, the coverage uh, from the from the week one to week five from this week until this Wednesday, right? This Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday we still have some new material. But today no new material. Today just a review. And uh, if you go to the black bar, you go to black bar, you go to the material, Then you go to the uh, week. I have week one and the two, or week three to five. Right? The, the the video and the notes, right? You can find the coverage. You can find the coverage. Uh, what we already studied. Uh, then you will know. Uh, in the textbook, uh, the textbook, we have chapters, chapter uh, from chapter one, two, three, three chapters. Chapter one, we have section one to six I think yeah, one to six and uh, chapter two we have section one to four and chapter three we only have part one two and the four these sections right, sections yeah uh, chapter three we didn't finish we only have one two and four three three sections and uh, chapter one and the chapter two almost uh, all of it I think they have some few some another sections uh, like a mud lab or something right so we, we we have one six for first chapter and one to four for the second chapter so totally one two three four five to six right this is one two three four yeah four sections and uh, yeah okay this is the coverage and uh, the problem, the exam problem will be problems a similar way as homeworks. Problems, problems, uh, similar with homeworks, homework problems. Problems. Similar with homework problems. All right, and uh, let me see. Totally, totally four, totally four problems for the, for the exam. All right. Then uh, let's look at uh, what we have studied. Uh, we have several things. Topic. The first one, first one is a random experiment. And the experiment, and uh, then we have the sample space. I 
has equal to like uh, that depends you know, I, I just write in this way uh, that depends uh, if you have like a tail face for a, for a coin or the experiment is a dice then just one to six and uh, whatever depending on the, your experiment you have the sample space sample space contain all possible results and then we have event event like some subset as a part of S or subset of S they are event right event and then we have operations on events like uh, A this is a union as a event that means both uh, A happen or B happen right and uh, A intersection with B we also write it as A B this is a A and B both happens A happen and B happen right we have the A complement that is a uh, not A right that means not A it didn't happen right? and we also have uh, two special event as they are also events the whole space, whole sample space is an event and empty. That means uh, event contain nothing is also an event. Yeah. Okay, so this is the first part. And the second part, we have some axioms and zeroes. Axioms and zeroes. Uh, we have axioms we have three right one two three uh, I don't write it here you check the textbook to find them and uh, uh, yeah you'd be better write it right when you when you review when you review you'd better prepare kind of a formula sheet or say chichi right prepare that one uh, it's open the exam is open so you can use anything like a textbook, like notes, or even search online. But time is limited. So before the exam start, you prepare a cheat sheet that will be help. Right? Uh, you don't need to go over everything. You, you have a cheat sheet. So most important information, you contain all the most important information on your cheat sheets. Then you can just look at your cheat sheet. You know what will be the uh, material you want to use what kind of information you want to use if you uh, do not have a cheat sheet you, when, you, when you do the exam you put your book, textbook you put your notes and uh, even turn on your computer to connect to some you think you use for internet like uh, uh, just like a blackboard it contain all the solution or homework so you, you open you open all of these beside you then you start your exam I don't think that is a good idea. Make sense? Yeah, you have to search everywhere to find the information. And you prepare a chichi, then you can, you know, you can save you a lot of time. You just look at your chichi. The most important information you already have. In case, only in case, you know, uh, there are something you didn't put in your chichi, then you can search uh, somewhere else, textbook or in internet to find them but basically a uh, formula sheet can help save a lot of money uh, a lot of time the money <laughs> save time all right okay so here I just write one two three we have three three statement for the axioms and you need to check your textbook or check your notes and write down them in your chi chi all right and the zeroes we also have zeroes uh, I can't remember how many. One, two, blah blah blah. They have several, several. And among these zeros, we have two important things. One is the law of total uh, probability. One is the Bayes formula. Bayes zero. Yeah. 
uh, they are in different sections of the textbook you can find it. yeah you have this law of totally pro uh, total probability and the base zero all right and for these two actually we need uh, one more concept uh, oh this is a uh, for probability right This is for probability, and uh, we also need the conditional probability. We need this. We need this. Okay. okay. So we need this concept for the law of total probability and for the base zero. Okay. So all of these are some zeros, some statements, and uh, we have for the for the law of total probability, we have a kind of a, a kind of a tools. You can think it's tools. We have a graph. We have tree, tree graph, tree, tree graph, right? We have a tree. We give a graph of a tree to represent the law of total probability, and we can make things simple. Uh, so it's a tree method. Tree method. All right. Okay. So this is second part. Second part is for probabilities. We have some axioms. We have some zeros, and uh, we have law of total probability. We have Bayes theorem, and among them, you also need to know what is a conditional probability, and as a kind of a result, consequently, after this concept, we have the independent. Independent. What is independent? Okay. What is independent? All right. Okay. So I think this is the second part. So first part is about the, the random experiment. Then we have sample space. We have event. Right. Ensembles and events, and the second part is discuss about the probabilities. The probability then we need uh, uh, the axioms, some zeros, right? Yeah. And then of course you should know how to calculate. Here I just gave give uh, like a frame what we have studied. Uh, you need to check the homework problems. Also we have examples in the text uh, in the class. Also in the textbook, right, you, you, you can look at those examples to understand how to use all these kind of things. Yeah. Uh, when we study, we work step by step, right? Uh, three axioms, then several formulas, and we have examples. Then the definition about conditional probability, then we have some examples. The law of total probability, we have some examples, we work like that. Uh, when you review, uh, you can still follow these this way, uh, but you can go more faster, right? You should go more faster. Yeah. Okay. So this is the second part uh, about the probability. We have axioms and zeros. And then we have third part, three. It's a counting method. Counting method. Counting method. And uh, do you remember what is counting method? Uh, you have several things, several objects, and uh, you want to pick some from those, those are of the objects. Uh, objects. You want po uh, pick something. You want pick something. Then how many different way to pick, to pick, pick them? So it's a counting method, and uh, uh, we have different kind of situation: uh, replay with replacement, without replacement, or with other or without other. Right. So we have several different cases, and also uh, you can consider the counting problem with the probability or without the probability. So uh, we have several things. I, put, I just put it. Is, uh, we have uh, permutation and uh, combination. I 
remember what it what it, what it did. We have n choose k or n choose k. And what are these numbers? Oh, I don't put it here. You find it. Find the answer from the textbook and put them in your in your teaching. All right. Yeah. And also ways or without probability. Uh, probability. Yeah. So we have two cases. Two cases. Then uh, you should know what kind of uh, formula do we have. What kind of problem can we solve? And what were we the uh, those examples and how they works, right? So this is the third part. Okay, uh, one, two, three, actually, here we have one, two, three, right? We have three part. One, two, three. These three part, uh, put them together, we can think this as a kind of a classical uh, theorem of, a classical theory of the uh, probability. Yeah, classical stuff. Uh, that means, you know, we do not have anything with the uh, like uh, integration, uh, integ integral, the derivative, the uh, functions, right? We do not have those kind of things. Uh, later, we will have that. We will use the, the 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 tools of math of the calculus to study these kind of things. But before that, we need to prepare. We need prepare. We need functions. So here we have this one: functions and variables. We have random variable and functions. And function one is a probability mass function. And uh, yeah, I have end here and CDF, cumulative distributed function, right? We have this. So uh, this is the fourth part, fourth part. Uh, you need no, you can have a way to define, uh, to give a variable, the variable. Uh, the variable can be different value depending on your random experiment. So the value of this variable is a random number, right? It's a random number. And then we dis describe the probability related with this random variable we by two functions. One is a probability probability mass function. The other is a cumulative distribution function. All right. Okay. Basically, we only have these four parts. Right. Sounds simple, right? Uh, sounds simple. When you learn it, you feel okay. Oh, so many things. One example, one definition, one formula, one concept, uh, one by one, a lot of stuff. Now, after you already learn them, understand them, and do some exercise on them, now you look at the back. It's not too much, not too much, right? So far, we have these four main topics, four main topics. So, I hope this exam will not be hard for you guys. And uh, the problem I was given is just uh, some the very basic problems, basic problems, similar with the homeworks, similar with the homeworks. All right. Okay. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this is uh, what I want to talk for the review. Actually, I only use twenty-two minutes, and uh, so you know this is a. Uh, as I told, this is a not not a, not a face to face class. This is an online class. I can't get your response so far. Now I'm record my review class, and uh, imagine you are watching it and uh, you you understand. It. You do not have any question, ah, but uh, that were usually you can you maybe you will ask me some question so. So this review class, I have this recorded video. I also have the uh, online meeting. Online meeting. All right. So uh, the online meeting, I will put. Uh, yeah, I need to talk in the front. All right. 
Okay. I can add something in front of the class. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, this is a. I can do like this. All right. I'm talking now just uh, after I gave you a review, but uh, I I will move this part to the front of this video. I can edit the video, right? So when you saw this video, this part will be in front of the class. Actually, I give this in the back of the class. Uh, the thing is uh, for the review, this Friday's class, this Friday's class, uh, this class, uh, you will have both. You will have this video, you can watch this video in the YouTube. You can also go to the Zoom meeting, Zoom meeting. You go to the room meeting, I will be there. I will be there during the uh, class time. That will be Friday from uh, 3 p.m. to 3.50 p.m. I, I will have the Zoom meeting. So you go to the Zoom meeting, you can, you can, you can see me. Then you can talk with me if you have any question. All right, yeah. Mm, so you can work like this. Uh, you watch the, watch the review video in the first half of the class and uh, then you go back to the class you have another uh, half of the class you can ask me questions yeah all right mm. okay that's all for this video not not all for this class all right so see you in the class yeah okay mm, bye bye